Hello anyone, welcome. Today we've got a quick short project that we can do with the kiddos um, or for the kiddos, uh, most likely if they're doing a science fair project. Uh, but we've got uh, two sets of tools. We've got the pro level tools and then a few home gamer tools that we can use. Um, I'll show examples of both, but this is actually a pretty quick project. Um, so what I'm gonna start with, um, uh, this is a half inch copper tube. Uh, no markings displayed uh, and all that really means is that the inside diameter is a half inch so from side to side should be a half inch or thereabouts um, so for this example I'm going to be using a half inch diameter magnet just fits in there um, so first what we'll do is uh, we'll clean up this edge so it it's fairly straight um, it's got a little bit of a burr on the inside somebody did try to clean it or deburr it but uh, I wouldn't put that in my house um, so what you can use if you don't have an actual deburring tool and this isn't anything special it's just a little hook swivels on the end of a little stick and we'll show you that in a second but uh, even just a a fairly sharp razor blade if you get it in there and careful not to just hack yourself to bits but uh, I don't know if you can see that but it will actually remove that burr and that's what we're going for we just we don't want anything to to, to stop the magnet or slow it down or anything or be in its way um, so you like I said you can use a magnet um, but if you have the option for one of these, uh, highly recommend it. You'll see it's much faster. And it leaves a far cleaner edge on the inside. No, no edge on the, at all. Um, the other thing I would recommend is, depending on how your ends were prepared, just kind of filing down. Chances are you used one of these, which is just a small tubing cutter, and I'll, I'll use that in a moment here. But the other other edge I want to break, so we break the inside edge and then the outside. And so, if you're plumbing your house, I highly recommend doing the same thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we just knock the edges off. Um, this side's a little different now this was just scrap i had laying around my house uh, so don't go tearing stuff out of your bathroom uh, but you can see somebody probably hacksawed it and then got lazy at the end and just ripped it don't do that don't do that um, so the length i want to use for this uh, demonstration I, i've gone ahead and marked um, I want a, 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 a 20 inch length tube, um, but I'm actually gonna cut it at 20 and a half uh, because what I wanna do is have the magnet sitting flush up top um, because the way I'm gonna launch it would be to have the magnet sitting up there and then pulling the nail and having the magnet drop through. Um, and it's just a little too long it's it's just about uh, a quarter inch too long so um, you can hacksaw this I'm not going to just because it simply wouldn't be worth it I want a nice uh, cut on the end so what I'm going to do is use this which uh, you can borrow purchase return but I highly recommend it. It'll make this job much cleaner and faster. And depending on where you got your tubing from, you're probably gonna have to cut it anyway. Um, but this is guaranteed to leave a, a nice uh, edge burr on the inside. Um, and we just, we definitely wanna get rid of that. And we want a nice flat top. Um, just so everything works nice and smooth uh, there we go so don't forget kids you can recycle 
Um, so, okay, now we've got a nice uh, square edge, nice and square, but we've got a sharp burr on the inside and a little bit of a raised edge on the on the tube's face. You can see if the light hits that just right. Um, so again, we're gonna file. So now that lip is gone on the face of it, we're gonna file the outside. And then the last is the deburring tool. Now, if my daughter was going to be putting this in the science fair, the next thing I would, she would do, would be to actually clean it up. Um, I'll show you the two examples. This is just a household sponge I saved from the trash can. It was just a little too nasty for dishes. Um, and any kind of a scrubbing pad, a green pad, or even light sandpaper, you know, a lot of grit, high grit, 120, 220, somewhere up in there. Even that's kind of crazy, but what you want to do is just shine it. It'll shine it right up. It's a nice metal that'll just take a shine like no other. In case I didn't show that for being gone. Um, but that would take forever. So the, the pearl stuff you can see will work much faster. And really all we're doing with this process Probably doesn't matter. Um, but all we're really doing with this process is just getting rid of that sort of oxidized layer, just getting her down to bare metal again. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is finish cleaning this up. Um, I'm going to put a few marks on here, maybe try to explain what's going on. I'm sure I won't be 100% accurate, um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to clean this up and then we'll get on with the science. Okay. So now we've got our tube. cleaned ends. It should be proper length, which we're shooting for 20 and a half. Spot on. Um, now, here's what, uh, here's what's going on. So, actually, let me Ugh, watch out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this into half inch segments. Just to kinda help explain what's going on. So, my magnet is a half inch diameter outside diameter um, and basically a half inch tall if it's laying flat on a surface it's a half inch tall so it's a half inch round cylindrical object now what I believe is going on here 
is we've got conductive material and a magnet. Um, so when we set it in, and I don't want to lose it quite yet. So when we set it in, it's basically creating a magnetic field. Now to oversimplify it, I've marked it into the half inch increments. Now remember, this is just, like I said, an oversimplification and I apologize if I get it wrong. Um, but right now our magnet is occupying this space. Uh, so f f just for example, let's just say the magnetic field exists here, here, but all around. So when we slide the nail off, what's going to happen is gravity is going to pull the magnet down. There's nothing here to stop that force, the force of gravity from pulling the magnet down. However, what is going to happen is the magnet along with the conductive material is going to create what are called uh, eddy currents, sort of like swirls in, 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 in a liquid, swirls, or yeah, we'll just call them swirls for now. But um, what's happening is this magnetic field, let's just, for example, say it, it doesn't exist down here yet, but gravity is pulling the magnet. Now the magnet is gonna actually have to fight because it created a magnetic field here. The ba the battery, the mag magnet is gonna have to fight to get to the next area to create the next magnetic field. And then the process repeats. So if this was, this magnet was just a straight free fall at the speed of gravity just pulling it down um, it, it would be much faster so in this process we we, we get a, a huge reduction in speed as it has to fight each time gravity pulls it a little closer it has to through or with the conductive material and the eddy currents it has to create a new field 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 all the way down That's real time right there. So just that little bit it slid down was how slow it took to come back out. Um, so that's my cheesy explanation of what's going on here. Gravity's pulling it down. The magnet is creating its own magnetic field along with the conductive material and the, the forces are all opposing. It doesn't want to have to keep changing magnetic fields all the way down, but gravity doesn't give a rip. It's going to pull down anyway. So let's get this fixed up. Um, I've got a measuring stick uh, fixed to the wall. Uh, we'll, we'll get it at a fixed height and then we'll do some, some recording of just how slowly it actually goes down. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, welcome to the other side of the bench. So we've got uh, our tubing affixed to the wall here. We've got a measuring stick. Um, I've got it set at the top of the tube is set at 21 and a half inches off the bench height meaning that when we've got the magnet set in there it'll actually be a 21 inch drop straight to the tube um, and again this is the setup we're going to use for uh, dropping the magnet actually just uh, we're just going to have a nail set across the top so she sits inside the tube and then I'm going to slide the nail off and she'll drop down. Um, as a control, what I think we'll do is uh, I've got uh, this drywall anchor um, that I, I just cut the tip off and then I measured and marked. Um, I don't know how well that's going to turn out. Uh, so. I've got something to hold on to and it's also the same height it'll be at, um, when, when you compare the two side by side uh, it's actually focus well they'll be the same height dropping through the tube um, you know like I said this is just a quick example of, of how it's gonna work so the control again is the 
drywall anchor and we're just gonna drop it through holding it a half inch into the tube and three two one you can see it falls completely unrestricted just drop straight through we'll do it again from a drop height of 21 three two one all right and for the last time again I'm holding it a half inch into the tube so it, it it's the same drop height three two one okay now you can see that is history apparently um, now we're gonna do the magnet now since it's only a half inch tall I, there's no handle for me so that's where the nail comes in now I should be able to just set it on top here like so and when I slide the nail off it should just drop the magnet now I'm gonna I'm actually not gonna talk through this first round um, I'm gonna let it go and you're just you're not gonna believe how slow this thing really is um, but through future drops, I'll talk just so everybody knows just how slow this really is. But for the first one, I'm going to shut my yap. So here we go. In three, two, one. Okay. Now you saw how long that took. Now I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to talk through it. So, um... For drop number two, I've got the magnet in place, and in three, two, one, off she comes, and you can't hear it, but I can hear it sliding down. Now, I thought about maybe cutting a, and there it was. Oh, I didn't have the paper there. Let's do that again, just to make sure everything turns up on camera. Um, so she's in the tube, and three, two, one. Uh, something I had considered was actually cutting a slot down the length of the tube so we can actually visually see how slow that process actually is. Um, now I'm not going to get out the stopwatch and everything today, but uh, like I said, this is just a quick and easy project for the kiddos that uh, if you help them with, you know, they might have something on their hands. Uh, so it's a neat party trick too if you got the tubing, you know, you whip it out and you show people. So. Hey, thanks for hanging.